Hey there, everybody. On Ruby here. Here with episode 4 of Tokyo Dark. Now, the way we ended the last episode was with um, the collector, uh, the creepy old guy, in the basement of uh, Akiha Akihabara. And, and then as we left, we had two choices, to go to Kabukicho uh, and um, seek out the sound agency, or go back to where we shot Reina, uh, Reina uh, all half a year ago. I chose to come to the new location, Kabukicho, with the specific reason that it's a new location. That's the only reason, one my, well, that was the strongest reason for me coming here. Anyway, let's get going. Yeah. So, as we can see from those kinds of signs, this is the red light district of Japan. Based on the dragon motifs and the general vibe around the building, I'd guess this place is no normal bar. Who knows how many other places around here the Yakuza have dipped their fingers into. Also, I don't have my regular mic I record with today. Well, not, it's the same mic actually, I just don't have the regular setup. I will so sorry if it sounds a bit off or a bit bad. I tried to do my best so it doesn't sound different at all, but it might. <laughs> it might. I did some testing and it didn't seem too bad. Three faces in uniform that I don't recognize, though I doubt they'll have a hard time recognizing me. The way they're huddled around, it hardly looks like they're doing much police work. More than a few violations probably pass under their noses. But I wouldn't be surprised if someone slips them a bit of cash on the side to ignore them. Cops like that probably wouldn't give me any trouble and they definitely aren't going to blab to their superiors about me being in, about me, about seeing me in Kabukicho. Hey, hold up. Don't I know you? Who? Me? Yeah, you. Unless you're hiding something behind your- unless you're hiding someone behind your back. Aren't you the detective whose face was all over town a few weeks back? Yeah, that's it. How didn't I recognize you before? Hey guys, didn't someone from HQ come by and ask us about her earlier? Maybe we should call it in. Hold on. Hold on, Denjiro. Do you really think that's a good idea? Huh? What are you talking about? I'm not risking my job over some nobody detective. Yeah, well, call it into HQ and you might be risking more than your job, if you know what I mean. Ryu's right. We should stick our necks out. Why should we stick our necks out when she hasn't even done anything wrong? Being on leave doesn't mean she can't walk around, does it? I'm with Ryu. I doubt I need to remind you boys what happens when you ruffle the wrong feathers at HQ. You guys can't be serious. Look, I'm not saying we arrest her. Only, only you're going to piss off the wrong people, Dangero. I don't know how much more obvious I need to be for you to get it. No one, not even a detective here, is worth bringing down her wrath. Especially right now. Things aren't exactly on stable grounds around here since the Mifune family shakeup. Don't need to repeat of Officer Ono. Pegged for promotion one day and then some an anonymous tip comes into HQ that Ono's been selling a little dope on the side. Even got a gun to tie him to a crime scene. Yeah, a gun that's mysteriously gone missing from evidence. You think that story's true? Does it really matter if it's true or not? The point is, he asked too many questions around here, and now he's in jail. Uh, some police we are, held hostage by some woman. Ah, uh, screw it, maybe you guys are right. Suppose if that guy from HQ asks again, we can say we didn't see any detective tonight. That's right, we didn't see you, and you definitely didn't talk to us. Got it? Yeah, got it, being on the street around here isn't exactly an easy position to be in, huh? Ch you mean at the bottom? Yeah, it doesn't give us a whole lot of options. Feels like I'm always stuck between HQ and all the other shit going around around here. I'm not sure which is worse. Honestly, you read the papers, don't you, detective? You heard about the Mifune family, right? Yeah, I'm sure she has, and that's all you need to say on the subject. You never know who's working for who around here, so put a lid on it. Listen, detective, what are you th whatever you think we are or what you think goes on around here, it isn't so simple as good cops and bad cops, remember that. Kabukicho might not be perfect, but we do our best to keep the peace, right? Right. Right. Like Ria said, we're trying our best, so don't cause any trouble for us and we'll return the favor by letting HQ- by not letting HQ know about this. <laughs> it's plenty scarier than HQ or LT around here. <laughs> That's for sure. Why don't you move along, detective? I think I'll do just that. Good luck, officers. They don't seem bad. A bit- uh, Just a tiny bit corrupt, but they don't seem like bad people. Seems this club is pretty popular and already has a lot of customers. Maybe talking to some of the regulars would give me a good idea of where to start looking for Omega. Those are some... real life people dancing. <laughs> Surprisingly high quality. Can I ask you something? 
Whoa, 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 I wasn't doing anything. You're a cop, right? Nope, you've got me all wrong. I'm looking for a talent agency by the name of Omega. Why do you think I was a cop? Phew, only your cops asked that many questions right off the bat. Well, that and your costume had me fooled. You ought to be careful walking around like that. Oh, I got it. You're some kind of performer, right? What are you doing looking for Omega? Omega's a wash. You won't get any work from them. Worry not, sweetheart. It just so happens I work for one of the best agencies in town. We handle all types, models, performers, actors, you name it. Even a mature woman such as yourself will have no problem finding work through us. That is, if you're fine with them staying in costume. My lucky day. That's the spirit. Have a drink with me, babe. I'll get you signed up. I'm sure I can find work with you in no time. Well, like I said, I'm looking for a mega. A friend of mine recommended them, so it'd be rude not to talk, them at talk to them at least, right? If you ask me, your friend's got no taste. You shouldn't waste your time with those losers. No one's even seen their guys around for months. When in the streets that they ran up a bit of debt with the wrong people, if you know what I mean. Anyway, you didn't hear that from me. You know where I am if you want a real chance, baby. Sleazebag. Can I ask you something? Yeah, sure. You don't need my permission. You heard of an agency around here called Omega? Omega? Nah, it doesn't ring a bell. Why? What's it to you? I'm looking for a missing girl. Missing, huh? Was she foreign? Working for a nightclub? Maybe working for some of the, uh, other types of clubs? I don't remember asking your opinion on the girl, only if you knew about the agency. Either way, answer the same. I don't know no Omega, and you probably won't find her even if I did. Girls go missing all the time around you, if you catch my drift. Care to be more specific? No, I don't. Don't think you delicate types could handle it. Let's just say not everyone is as nice to the ladies in these places as I am, and leave it at that. So the pot with questions like that and you're bound to end up in trouble. So if you want to go help, go ask someone else. This guy again. Can I ask you something? Wait, is it the same? Oh, it's the same fucking dialogue. Okay. Can I leave? Oh, oh, there's more to the club, okay. Okay, I thought it was just this screen. No, that's better. <laughs> I thought it was just those two guys. Hello, can you spare a minute? Whoa! How long you been standing there? X. This guy's just called X. Me, I just got here. Why so jumpy? <laughs> Sorry, there's a big scary guy with a scar here a little before you. Acted friendly enough, but he made me feel a little uneasy. He kept asking me what I was doing here. If I want to go somewhere and have a drink with his friends. Honestly, I've been waiting for a good moment to duck out. I think you made the right decision by staying put. If you ask me, have you ever heard of a talent agency around here called Omega by chance? Omega? Nope, never heard of it. I'm actually not ever in this part of town. A friend of a friend invited me out here for a few drinks, but she hasn't shown her face yet. It's starting to stink of some sort of weird setup. Anyway, I still have some pride, so I'm not going to tuck my tail and run just yet. Good luck finding that agency or whatever you were looking for, and if you see that guy I mentioned earlier, watch your back. So there's how many people to talk to? Three more. Evening. You know anything about a talent agency called Omega? I heard they were based here. Are you insane? It's not like I'm asking you to take me there personally. What's the issue? You do know where you are, don't you? Omega ran up against some people. The same people who own this club. And they lost. The Mifune takeover's already racked up quite the body count, and I don't plan on being added to it. I'm not sure who you're working for, but you've come at a bit of a sensitive time. If I were you, I'd turn around and walk out that door. Hell, oh, she probably killed him too. Killed who? Him, you know, Higashi, the owner of Omega. Bro... Every time they fucking say Omega, it just makes me think of Mass Effect 2. <laughs> Everyone knew he owned the Mifune family a small fortune. The word on the street is that there's been a little spring cleaning of any disloyal retainers. Do I need to spell it out for you? Good. I've already said too much and you should stop asking around too. You never know who's listening. Can I talk to this guy? Hey, can I ask you something? Uh, about a talent agency called Omega, you know anything? Yeah, yeah. Alright, I'll take that as a no. Uh, hey, do you know this area? What? 
I had a question about what speak up I can't hear you the speakers right there so you're gonna have to talk louder I'm looking for an agency you're looking for a vacancy in what no an end you're what I'm Perfect timing. Perfect, perfect, perfect fucking timing. I'm looking for information about a mega talent agency. Do you know anything? Out loud, the music stops. Whoa. You really shouldn't shout things like that around here. Excuse me, miss. We're hoping you might join us next door. Consider it an invitation from an admirer. Besides, it's much nicer venue than this stop. Yeah, in fact, we'd be happy to escort you. Bro, I'm... I don't want any trouble. Let's just accept. Good answer. Follow us. Welcome. Come in. Same eyes. No, no, she doesn't have the same eyes. Yakuza tattoos. Let me introduce myself. Why am I giving her a Russian accent? I just see like a criminal woman and I think Russian. That's pretty racist of me. And she's Japanese. Let me introduce myself. I'm Kasumi Mifune. Mifune. I appreciate you coming by to talk. Mm, your thugs didn't give me much of an option. The hell you think you are calling me a thug? We're businessmen. You got that. Oh, I've got it alright, but don't think that dressing in a suit makes you any less of a thug. That's just Tony Fontana right there. Say another word, you cop, bitch. Enough. You say another word and I'll make you wish you hadn't. Now get out, both of you. Eh. Yes, boss. My apologies. The quality of help you can find these days isn't quite up to the standard that it was in my father's time. Wild dogs can be difficult to train, but they'll come around even if I beat it into even if I have to beat it into them. Sit down, relax, can I get you a drink? Yeah, fuck it. Whiskey on the rocks. Uh bro, first episode I didn't take the drink. I was a cop on duty. I'm off duty now. Fuck bro, I'll have a whiskey and I don't wanna make this woman upset. I do not wanna die today. Someone get her a glass and one for me as well. Why don't we skip the small talk and you tell me why I'm here? I'm getting to that. Seems you're a woman who doesn't like to waste time. Good. As luck would have it, neither am I. Let's get right to it. A short while ago, a couple of men downstairs ran up to tell me you, a cop, had walked past my bar and into one of my nightclubs. Then I hear you've been sniffing around asking one about one of my investments. Investments? You mean Omega? Smart girl. Tell me, Ayame Ito. Why is it that a cop is going around asking pointed questions like that? More curious still, not just any cop, but a publicly shamed cop on leave. A shamed cop who's had a history of, how do they word it, IS, a history of psychotic episodes. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. How do you know all that? We all have friends, Detective Ito. When detectives are wandering around my part of the city, my friends tell me everything I want to know. Honestly, you don't seem all that crazy to me. As to why you're after Omega, let's just say you've piqued my interest. Sorry, look at us. You said no small talk, and here we are off in the bushes somewhere. Let's get back on track, shall we? As you're not acting in any official capacity, it's safe to say that no one knows you're here, correct? No, I suppose they don't. Hmm. In your position, I might have tried to lie, but I appreciate the honesty. It was a rhetorical question, anyway. I know for a fact that there's no one coming for you. Funny, you don't strike me as a stupid type, and yet you're willingly entering a den of vipers. If you valued your neck staying on your shoulders, surely you wouldn't do something so reckless. You can skip the threats. If you wanted to do something to me, you would have done it already. Plus, you're smart enough not to know to smart enough to know not to hurt a cop, even one in my position. <laughs> Good, I like you. Given your prickly demeanor, I doubt you're working with one of my competitors, and you're definitely not here for your police buddies. Okay, I give up. I have to know what exactly is it you want to know about Omega? I'm looking for this girl. Her name is Reina. I was told she was involved with the agency somehow. I want to know what happened to her. How very noble of you. Figuring that. Out might be a thinking that out might be a bit difficult as I'm afraid Omega is an extremely recent acquisition. To get back farther, you'll have to talk to its president and former owner, a man named Eiichi Higashi. As it so happens, that makes two of us. We would like to have a word with him. Like peas in a pod, us two. Unfortunately, when he handed over the business, he became a bit, how should I say, forgetful about his outstanding debts to us. And the poor thing is so scared of me that he's ignoring all my calls. 
probably thinking I'd do something awful to him if I found him. I can't imagine how to get that idea. Can you? Maybe you'd prefer talking to a police officer instead of talking to me? I'm not some green recruit. I know how this works by now. What's the catch? You'd never tell me where he was and send me on my way for nothing. Of course I wouldn't. You'll have to prove that you can be trusted first. There's someone else I need you to talk with. A bit of a softer target than Higashi. Pretty good deal, right? Everyone you're looking for in exchange for one little job. Oh. I don't want to fuck around. Okay. I don't fuck around with Yakuza. I don't. I just don't fuck around with Yakuza. I don't want to be involved with you guys. Oh, don't make this more difficult than it has to be. You'll agree eventually, so why fight it? I know a lot about you. Top of your class and one of the best detectives on the force. You wouldn't let something as pesky as morals get in the way of good information, would you? I've heard about you too, Kasumi Mifune. Or more accurately, I've heard about, a lot about your father. <laughs> as you should, my father was a good man. It's not surprising you know more about him than me. That'll change soon enough. I won't be a footnote in his, his, in his story much longer. My father always undervalued the power of information, but I really get to know the people I associate with. You, for instance. Everything you've done paints a picture of someone who's very determined and very desperate to find this girl of yours. Don't let other people tell you otherwise, detective. I think those traits are a wonderful combination. However, it also means you don't have a whole lot of bargaining power right now. If you didn't want to work with me, that's fine. You can go home and quietly overdose on whatever medication they've got you taking instead. Furthermore, I could just refuse your request altogether, but that'd be so boring. We both need something, so let's help each other instead. Do the job I ask and I'll tell you what I know about little Higashi. As I was saying, like him, there's another business owner in Akihabara who's unfortunately behind on her payments as well. Such a shame, too. I really wanted a straightforward straightforward relationship with this one. See, I help out, a few, help out with a few things, and in exchange, she kicks back a little of her business. Sometimes we send over a new contract to Regan... Sometimes we send over new contracts to renegotiate the terms of our mutually beneficial relationship. Sadly, she's neglected to sign the newest one. I'm a cop, not some Yakuza debt collector. Do it yourself. <laughs> Suspended cop. You can't parade your badge around as proof that you're some white knight anymore. Due to the recent, uh, transition of power, I can't do it myself just this minute. The dogs at Tokyo Police Headquarters start paint panting whenever me or any of my men are seen outside of Kabukicho. I'm not asking you to club someone's head in, I'm only asking you to give them a friendly reminder to keep up to date on their paperwork. Easy, right? Yeah, take it. Do this for me and I'll feel a lot more comfortable about giving you my information about Omega. Also, I'll remind you, with your impending review, it would be unseemly if it got out that you were meeting with Yakuza, wouldn't it? Blackmail, huh? That's such an ugly word. And here I thought we were becoming friends. No, no, I'm just stating the facts of the situation is all. The business you're going is a going to is a I knew it was going to be the fucking cat cafe because they, they knew it was going to be the one that you formed a good relationship with you're going to is a cat cafe in Akihabara Kazu can give you the address on the way out wait a cat cafe or or what a cat cafe what else would it be well a cat cafe or a cat made cafe what are you talking cat cats or people dressed like cats because a freaking cat cafe actual cats adorable fluffy precious cats why the hell would I mess with some stupid maid cafe cats normal cats damn it now I'm all worked up Look, get that goddamn contract signed and we'll talk. I don't want to harm the girl. She's a nice girl. Looks like they've been digging up the sidewalk, but since they're blocking my view, I can't quite see what they're doing. Hey lady, you need something? There's nothing to see here, so why don't you move along? Why should I? You said yourself there's nothing to see here, after all. Bit of advice to you, if you're trying to keep someone from staying out of your business, I wouldn't lead with nothing to see here. See? She thinks so too. Every time you say nothing to see here, people stop and stare at us instead of actually moving along. Hmm, nothing to see here really kind of does kind of make me want to look more, you know? It's kind of sinister, nothing to see here. That's what cops say when there's definitely without a doubt something worth seeing. Thanks a lot for the advice, boys. Last time I checked, it was you who worked for me, not the other way around. Alright, alright, no need to be so damn touchy. All we're saying is, unless you want every passerby in Kabukicho stopping to stare at us, you should try zipping it. Zip it? Is that how you talk to all the employers? You are aware of who you work, f who I work for, right? Right? Digging a hole is the least of your worries, so do as I say. Tch, these jobs are the worst. What exactly are you guys doing? All of a sudden I can't help but wonder what some suit is doing standing by a construction site. 
I <laughs> have to agree with the little lady on that one. As far as I can tell, we're pulling up a strip of concrete for no damn reason at all. No reason. Far from it. Schedule maintenance requested by the building's owner. There were complaints of people falling or getting hurt because of the uneven pavement. So my employer generously offered her own money to fix it. Maintenance, huh? Seemed perfectly fine to me until we started hacking into it. And you seem awfully impatient for us to fill it back in. Maybe it's got something to do with the little thing you had wrapped in cloth before. Shut up! Or I'll ask you to dig two more holes after this one. Two more? Oh, I get it. I think that's what's meant to be some sort of threat. Yeah, exactly. I mean, what you said wasn't exactly threatening. Honestly, I've heard better. Is he trying to imply that he's going to make us cover ourselves in concrete? Kind of a boring threat. Fine, bad joke. Maybe you, two sh maybe you two should remember you're being paid very generously to be here. So, shut it. And you, miss, would you please kindly move along? As you can see, I'm busy enough with these two without any additional distractions. Okay, asshole. Okay, asshole. I'm fine with that, Interclub. Going back in without even trying to go to Akibara, assuming it'd make me regret it. I see you. So I can't go anywhere else anymore. I don't see what else I can do. I think I just have to... I think I just have to... What was that? I saw something that said talk. Well, anyway. I guess I just have to go to the cat cafe and... Do dirty business. <laughs> so I don't wanna she's such a nice girl. I don't wanna hurt her. Uh, I don't have a choice, I guess. Welcome back. I forgot what voice I gave you last time. I think Toma remembers you. I forgot what voice I gave you. I don't you must be appreciative of all your help to make him feel better. Although I've had to stop the deliveries of sashimi, even a smell seems to set off his bowels. Another quirk added to an already quirky character. Uh, maybe it's a sign that you're right about the fish. Uh, yeah, um... Hello again, Toma. Uh, we need to talk. Okay, sure. Uh, why the serious face? What's wrong? How exactly does the owner of a cat cafe get mixed up with Yakuza? Eh? What do you- Bro, Tomo. I met someone recently who gave me a contract with your name on it to sign. I read it and it seemed like you owe them quite a bit of money. Why? I've been around this kind of stuff for a long time and I can't figure out how a cat cafe owes that kind of money. Money? Yakuza? Wait, you're working for her? Why? I'm not working for anyone. All I've got is this contract and your name and I want to know why. The truth is, this place isn't all above board. Or it is, but it wasn't always. How the fuck can a cat cafe be illegal? I didn't borrow money thing or anything. I didn't borrow money or anything that stupid. When I was setting up this place, I was just trying to stay above water. But the building owner kept coming by to complain, and then the government types and the health inspectors came knocking. I never realized how complicated opening up a place like this in Tokyo could be. All those rules and regulations. All I ever wanted to do was to help out the kitties and make people happy. Then she came by. Someone who loved cats as much as I did. She offered to help me with smooth things. She offered to help me smooth things over with everyone. I mean, I saw the tattoos and everything, but I don't think that you should judge people because of how they look. I still don't. There was no way I was going to stay open and keep my kitties if I didn't get help fast. So I accepted her offer and things got better pretty quickly after that. The building owner stopped complaining and all the permits fell into my lap. Maybe you think I was stupid, but most of the cats here would be stray or dead if I didn't get her help. For a while, I thought I was saved by a guardian angel. After all, she loved the cats and was kind and friendly to me. It's been quiet too. The business with Tomo's bowels was the first incident I've had in months. About two months after accepting her help, when I was closing up the shop, some men showed up with a contract like the one you're holding. They said it was for services rendered or something like that. It wasn't much at the time, so I signed it. I owed her a lot after all, and I was doing pretty well. Only they kept coming back, 
And every time they came back, they had a new contract. Every contract wanted more and more money. It's gotten out of hand, I can't keep up anymore. Kasumi won't even see me anymore to talk about it. You didn't really think you'd get a favor from the Yakuza for nothing, did you? I wasn't being greedy, Ito. I thought she was trying to help. <sighs> Helping the only way she knows how. <sighs> Please, you have to help me. The amount of money they've asked for is out of hand. I'm doing well for now, but if they get their way, I'd be out of business. You have to tell Kasumi. Please. Tell her that if this place goes down, all these cats, there'll be no place for them to go. The poor kitties, they'll be put down. I can't support them by myself. I don't think animal services would let me keep them. I couldn't live with myself if that happened. I'm begging you, Ito. Don't do this. I'll help you. Damn it, it doesn't matter what I need from her. I can't make you sign this in good conscience. Hooray, I knew I could, good would prevail in the end. Thanks. How'd you get mixed up with that woman anyway? I need some information from her. You should be careful. I don't know about her, but her thugs are dangerous. Last time they were here, them talking about having to teach a girl from another cafe a lesson or something. Makes me feel sick thinking about it. What else would you expect from guys like that? Breaking legs is probably all they're capable of outside of grunting and drinking. Call me naive, but I don't get how someone can be so two-faced. I started seeing her face in the papers lately. I couldn't believe it. Surely that ruthless woman they're talking about couldn't be the Kasumi I knew, or so I thought. Guess it's like you said, a tiger can't change its stripes, right? Hmm, maybe so. At any rate, you should probably be more careful who you trust in the future. Sorry, I didn't mean to wrap you up in all this. But thank you for not making me sign. So what's your plan? Uh, I'm not sure if I really have one. Maybe I can appeal to her kindness self. If she really is a cat love, I'm sure she wouldn't want to see the little guys hurt, right? Oh no, I've really gone and got myself into trouble, haven't I? Maybe I should go instead. Contract was given to me, so I'd better deal with it myself. Plus, I get the impression that being confined by the c confined by the cops was hasn't put her in a great mood. I'm sure you don't agree, but I still think there's a, something. But I still think there's something good in her. Sometimes I can't help but wonder if she'd be doing all these things if she didn't grow up into that life. And all the kittens loved her when they played with her. Cats are such good judges of character. I somehow don't think her treatment of animals correlates with too much with the treatment of people. I'm suddenly starting to feel a little queasy thinking about going back there without the contract. Damn it, I am. You've really gotten yourself into one this time, haven't you? No point dwelling on it now. I've made up my mind and I can't run Rutgers or deck collections just because I'm in a tight spot. Take care. Don't worry. The kittens are never wrong in judging someone's character. Yeah, sure. Think of something. Yeah, sure. I'll think of something, but I need you to lay low and maybe close up shop for a while until I sort something out. I'm gonna get my kneecaps removed. Ayami, enjoy your kneecaps while you have them, girl. The Yakuza's, Yakuza's gonna remove them. This is gonna take them right out. Hey, what are you doing here? Go back. <laughs> Bro. Honestly, Luan, I want you to get her to go home. <laughs> That's funny. Welcome back. I assume you take care of that little nuisance for me. I didn't have a sign up. I couldn't in good conscience ruin someone's life like that. Let me explain something to you. If I give you something to do, you don't come back until it's done. What? Do you think you're some sort of moral crusader helping out the little guy? What did she tell you anyway? That she was a small town girl who couldn't keep up with the big meanies in Tokyo? Put it that way. I get. Put it. Put it that way, I guess. Put it that way, I guess I do sound like I'm asking a bit much. Did you tell me about all the cats that she kept escaping, or the ones who wandered into nearby businesses? About the heaps of trash that were piling up around the place? If it weren't for me getting people off her back and cleaning up the place, those cats would probably be dead by now. What have we here, detective? What? Sorry, sorry. What we have here, detective, is a trust issue. You were too quick to take the other side because of who I am, or at least who you think I am. Pity. Kazu? Yes, boss. Take Ito inside and show her what happens when people disappoint me. Don't be too rough, I don't want a repeat of last time. Oh, and leave her face alone. I'd hate for someone to see a black eye and think she might be worthy of sympathy. Keep her jacket here, I like it, it's very chic. Did you know my friends tell me when all the police raids are coming? It's pretty handy really. As a matter of fact, there's one scheduled for tomorrow. I'll be gone of course, but if they were to find this jacket, well, who knows what they'd think. It would be a pity if someone recognized it. 
Kazu, escort her out. Good luck finding a stupid little girl. Hold on, Kazu. Ito, who is this? He's, um, I guess he's a stowaway from the cat cafe. He is, huh? I see. I... I love him! If she wasn't threatening to remove my kneecaps, that would be cute. Look at his squishy little face. I can't ever detect a beater on such a cute little face. What's his name? Beaten? Oh, I think his name is Tomo. Tomo, that's not much of a name for a man, is it? Mm, I shall call you Mr. Marshmallow. About that blackmail and beating? Oh, that? Forget it. Really? Oh, uh, good. Uh, Ito, lighten up. You're not a liability unless you start talking to your cop friends. And you wouldn't do that, would you? No, they likely wouldn't believe me at this point, anyway. My thoughts exactly, so cheer up. How can you stay mad when looking at this big little eye that's those little feet? I look at you and I see a woman whose priorities are all wrong, Ito. You don't appreciate what you have, only what you're looking for. That is until you find it, but then what's left? That said, I was serious about one thing. If you talk to any cops about my business or about my um, affections for cats, something like that, Kazu might visit a, pay a visit to your apartment and pick up where he left off. But who wants to think about all the logistics of dismembering and disposing of a dispec- Or oh, detect this body when you've got all these little whiskers rubbing against you. Hmm. Sachiko was right. Sachiko was right. You do genuinely love cats. So why make her sign co So why make her sign a contract that would end with her having to put the cats down? Sachiko isn't as perfect and cute as she seems. She might love her cats, but she has strange ways of caring for them. She owes me a great debt, and it's my right to collect it. So if a cafe shut down, I'd make sure those cats have a home. But I can't say the same for their owner. This job is about tough decisions, not legal ones like you cops make. In my business, you have to sleep with the choices you make, not leave them at the door when you hand the case over to the courts. <laughs> Mr. Larchmello likes being picked up. Aww, he is pretty cute. I'm not sure if you meant for this outcome, but I have to say you've got some guts coming back like you did. I thought you'd be another pushover cop to keep him off cockpit. I underestimated you. And doing so, I've given you information on one of my weaknesses. <laughs> it's funny, really. I spend so much time making sure I'm not seen as the weak woman that all these men expect me to be that I don't feel like some myself sometimes. Something I'm sure you understand quite well. Tell you what, I'll let you have that one little weakness of mine. It's only fair. I know so many of yours after all. In a different life, maybe we could have been friends. Kazu, stand down for now. Ito, consider yourself lucky. I'll let you keep your jacket tonight. Understood, boss. Alright, forget the cat cafe contract. I'll get one of my boys to deal with it later. What is it you wanted again? I want to speak to Omega's company president, Higashi, about a girl signed to his agency. That's right. I'm missing agency president and one of his main projects. What a despicable little man, I'll tell you now. I had no problem taking control of the business from him. I left him as president to keep a few of his clients happy. A decision I regret now. Did you kill him? I don't think she killed him. Where is he? Fortunately, I'm just as in the dark about where he disappeared to you, disappeared to as you. I'm afraid. A deal's a deal, though. While you were out, I got an address of one of his old hideouts and the code to get in. In Shinjuku. Wait, was it Shinjuku? Shibi. I f I forgot where where it was. Wait, wait, anyway, we're going back to that house with the code. Keep that off, man. I can't guarantee you'll find anything there, but it's, but I said I'd tell you what I knew, and that's what I know. You haven't sent one of your stooges to check it out for you? Stooges, I like you, but don't push it. As I said earlier, me and my men can't afford to be spotted right now, especially in an area getting so much special attention. Special attention? Doesn't Kabukicho get enough attention on its own? Kabukicho is what it is, but it is. But this isn't in Kabukicho. This particular spot got its reputation, and subsequently, its extra police patrols a bit more recently. In fact, I still hear there's an ongoing investigation going on there. I heard you'd be intimately familiar with that area, and the incident that happened around there. Condolences on the loss of your partner, Detective Tanaka, by the way. All the papers are rushing to make you out to be incompetent, or worse yet, some sort of psychotic killer. Maddening, isn't it? My friends in police headquarters say you two were close. There's no, that's no way to lose someone you love. I suppose it's not too much to ask what really happened. Was there really someone there that night? Thanks on the condolences, but what happened on that night isn't something I want to discuss right now. 
Switch yourself. Let's change the sub subject back to Higashi. It took a bit of a digging to find that address. Seems he was keeping a second hideout in Shinjuku under a fake name. Now that we know where it is, he probably knows too. I highly doubt he'd be stupid enough to stay holed up in it. But I also doubt he'd be smart enough to completely clear out the place before he left town either. It's probably something in there that would lead us right to him. Get what you want, then let Kazu know when this, where the slime is so we can straighten him out. He'll get those fantasies of running away out of his head. The code to the door is 11235. It's the only keypad lock on the street. You can't miss it. For what it's worth, I wish you good luck finding your little girl. But remember, you can't save them all, Ayami Ito. Oh, and Ito? Thanks for bringing Mr. Marshmallow to me. Being holed up in one place for the last few weeks can be a bit taxing. You know... I remember he loves fresh fish. Fresh fish, huh? Sachiko does certainly have some eccentric tastes. Kazu, pick up some sashimi. Right away, boss. Can we just make him shit all over her floor? So, 11235, that's the... What's it called again? That's the golden ratio, but I forgot the, the the what sequence? Uh, I forgot what the golden ratio sequence is called now. It's named after someone. Hmm. The Fibonacci, yeah, it's the Fibonacci sequence. 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 11, and whatever else is next. It's May, if you don't know about it, it's made by... So we take, we start at, start at 1. And then you... Uh, then what you do is you add the last two numbers to get the next number. So you start at 1, and then you add 1 to 1, because there's no other one. It's 1, and then 1, and then you add 1 and 1. And then you get two. Then you add two and one, you get three. Then you add two and three, five. Five and three, eight. Eight and eight and five, thirteen. Not eleven, like I said earlier. I added eight and three accidentally, but yeah, that's the golden ratio. Huh, it worked. Looks like Kasumi's tip wasn't a lie. Enter. Ugh, what a stench! I know that smell. Anyone who works homicide long enough knows it. Time for jump scares. I should not be recording this at 6 a.m. When it's still dark outside. Ah ha ha. Smell of death. Oh, I don't want jump scares, please. I'll deal with that later. Uh, <laughs> okay, that was a bit of a I was just gonna go down the hallway, see what's happening, and I was like. Oh, there's a dead body there. It seems to be locked. I can't open it. <laughs> I'll, I'll deal with him in a bit. I can't. Seems like the inside of the lock has been filed off. It didn't move at all. Must be reinforced. <laughs> open. No oh, good. It's as if something is holding it from the other side. Damn it, that did nothing but hurt my foot. The hairpin isn't catching on anything. This isn't gonna work. I'm gonna try all the doors, bro. Hello, corpse. I'm about to see. Someone budgy the The locks have been tampered with to make them useless. What's being hidden in these rooms? There's no way I can kick this down. Okay. The word Ruby is written on blood in the in blood on the wall. Okay, maybe this is a bit too late to check, but am I recording right now? Yes, okay, I am. I go, look, guys, sometimes I get paranoid that I'm not actually recording, and I didn't hit the record button. Oh. Oh. Is that Tanaka? The integral organs have been disturbed, may be removed. What's this? This paper bag with the name Higashi written on it. Did Reina do this? Okay. Is that Higashi? Okay, I thought that was Tanaka and then we found his body. That's why I went like, oh, I thought that was Tanaka. Guys, I am getting scared. I am really getting scared. 
Nothing changed, just a door. Oof, 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 oof. Nothing to see here. Where that? Where's that noise coming from? Sounds like something is trying to escape from the inside. Rattling stopped. Why? No, 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 no. Oof. TV doesn't look like it's been used in years and it's covered by a thick layer of dust. I doubt it even works anymore. Shots of various girls, all of them taken in this room. They don't look like the professional headshots an agency would take. Yo, the Sigashi was fucking raping girls. I hate him. If he was doing that, he looks so sad and young. Got a pretty good idea what these pictures were used for and the types of people they might have been sent to. Human trafficking? Reina, so it's true to think you were kept in a place like this. What happened to you? Huh? Something's happening. You're back early. Yeah, I, uh... I don't feel well. I think I'll go to bed early tonight. Ruby, don't ignore me. Lately, it's been the same excuses over and over. I, I don't know what you're talking about. No, mask. I don't want mask. Okay, guys, I'm going to take a pause from recording, please. I'm getting really scared. I need to calm down for a bit. <laughs> oh, okay, as I said, I don't handle horror games that well sometimes. Sometimes they terrify me. I'm just going to take a quick break, quick. Well, for you guys, it's going to be, like, no time at all. Sorry. Okay, I just took, like, a 20... Like a 20 second break, <laughs> just to calm myself down for you guys in no time past. I don't know what you're talking about, Ruby, my sweet little Ruby. You think because that one song was a hit, you can just stop working? That money's all gone, sweetheart. We spent it all trying to get you a record deal. Don't you think it's unfair to eat my food and stay here for free without doing any work? Ruby, hey, stop crying. Stop crying, I'm talking to you. <gasps> Please, I didn't mean it. I'll do another song. I'll make it up to you. I promise. I just, I just don't want to. That's exactly why I'm setting up all these meetings for you. You make the right impression with these guys and they'll take you places. Speaking of which, I got a call a little while ago from Masa. Nobody's told me. Hmm. He told me you were being a little, I'm uh, being a little disagreeable with him last night at his place. You know that he's one of our best clients, don't you? The things he can do for you girls as well. I shouldn't need to tell you. I sent you, I sent you to him because you said there was something special about you. In fact, he said out of all the girls here, he particularly wanted to meet you. If I did you a big favor by making that happen, then you comp, then you compensate my. Okay, my fear is stopping my ability to read. Just give me a second. Oof. Then you compensate my generosity by sitting in a room crying and telling me you don't feel well or whatever excuse you come up with next. I couldn't help. He tried to. I don't care what he tried to do. You should have let him. Yo, what a fucking sleaze bag. I hate this guy. I'm glad you are mutilated. When I took you in, you were a vulnerable tiny girl who was already failing in school. But I saw your potential. I could already tell how pretty you'd be when you were older. That's all those men care about. How I look. So what? You think I took you in because of how smart you were? Oh, what an asshole. I hate this guy. No, I'm sorry if I'm saying this much. This guy is just such a big fucking dickhead. Fuck you. You're an idol, you're supposed to be looked at. Most men would fall over themselves to meet a pretty girl like you. But you ruin it for everyone you need when you sit here there crying. What are you gonna do? I'm sick of looking like an idiot, Ruby. You made me do this. I want to leave now, please. I want to leave now, please. Please. I think it's here. Where's that noise coming from? Oh, no. I'm scared, guys. I'm, I'm so scared. The noise stopped. Reina? Damn it, Ruby. Can't, st can't stand to see you like this. You're not gonna feel better staying cooped up in here. Listen, I got you that photo shoot lineup tomorrow. The one with Massa. Are you even listening? Don't make me go back. 
I don't want to go out. Just let me stay here. What's wrong with you? Please, please don't make me. I'm afraid to go. As far as I can tell, all you're afraid of is success. I've fallen over myself to make you a star, but you'll never get anywhere if you lock yourself away. What? You're not going to say anything? You, can, you can't treat me this way. I gave you your name, your music, and damn near everything else. Oh, but you think you're special, right? Let me break it to you, honey. You're not. There's loads of other girls in this business just like you, and they do what they have to without complaining about it. They understand how important it is to keep clients happy. And I'm sorry it's not all butterflies and flowers, but you're not some naive little girl anymore. You're a woman now. Hey, Earth to Ruby, I'm trying to give you some advice here, and you're not listening. Raina. My name is Raina. What did you say, Raina? Who's that? Oh yeah, that was the name of some pathetic little foster girl I picked up. You wanna go back to being her? Just say the word and I'll throw you out of here myself. If you think you've got it bad now, let's count the seconds between you hitting the streets and being back in foster care or dead in some gutter. Hmm. Not so talkative now, are we, Raina? Or is it Ruby, the girl who was successful? The girl who could, the girl who could make it if she would just do what she was told? Sorry. I'm sorry. I lost my temper. But you gotta see things my way. You were special, you know that? I see. I saw so much potential in you. Such a beautiful young girl. I want to raise you up and show you what life could be. Then you reject me and everything I can offer you. It's a damn shame. You're still pretty, Ruby. So pretty. But not when you mope around. Look, I get it. You're a teenager and you want to cry it out, right? Fine. But when you're done with that, you're gonna be gonna back be back out. I have no idea what that line tried to say and now it's gone. You think I want to send you to all these little meetings with Masa and guys like him? I'd rather you were successful so we don't have to do that. I'm on your side. If you'd work harder, you wouldn't have to do things like that. Stop crying! You're not a child anymore. <laughs> I just want to go home. <coughs> Yikes, this man's voice is hurting my throat. Home? <laughs> Where do you think you are? You are home. This is as good as it gets is going to get for a girl like you. Tomorrow you're going to go with Masa and do whatever it is he tells you to do. You'll stop this crying and you'll start making some money. <laughs> it was a mistake to think you'd end up being special. Turns out you're just another disappointment. Another whore. you will fuck this guy. Something laying on the mattress. It's a newspaper article dated October 24th, 2004. Article's title, One Hit Wonder, Ruby Commits Suicide. It can't be, that was over 10 years ago. Her real name was withheld from the press, but her picture is there. According to the article, Higashi went to her room and found it locked. He called to her, she didn't answer. Thought she must have been tired, he said. She'd been working hard on a new song. When he forced the door, when he noticed the smell where he found her hanging from the rafters. She'd hung herself from us two days before. Probably in this room. There's more. Though Mr. and Mrs. Higashi had adopted her years before, Ruby was not made to work and loved being an idol more than anything in the world. The song Look For Me will go on sale again this month, with all sales going to various suicide prevention charities. I've read enough. The sadness that's in this room is the same, the same awful feeling I felt in the sewers. Is it Rainer's? Is this what it's... Is this, is this what I was supposed to see? I want to leave, please. I feel sick. A monster. How many girls had Higashi passed around and abused before he was murdered? And Reina, she looked the same as she does now. 16 years old. A child. Higashi had her locked up and she tried to take back control the only way she could. Only... Only she came back. And all that pain and suffering came back with her. When I was in that room, I could feel it like it was my own. And it's not the first time... Look, at this point, I'd give a theory saying that, saying that Ayami Ito is actually Reina, and she's lost all her memories. The only thing stopping me from giving that theory is they don't have the same eyes. Dark was steeped in it. As soon as I realized it, it was like the air changed. I can see a pulse now, like a heartbeat following me. I feel like the dark has changed, but there's more to do. The collector said the mask was a tool to navigate the dark. I need to go to Kamakura and find out what I can. <sighs> Time to go to Kamakura, guys. I guess it wasn't a splitting path. Well, maybe. Maybe maybe it is a splitting path, and now I'm going to do something different in Kamakura than I would have done if I went there first. Or maybe you just have to do both. Anyway. 
Kuroko is filled with so many beautiful shrines and temples and lots of hikes in the surrounding hills. Kazuki and I like coming here in our time off. It's also the place where my Kawana was held at knife point last spring and the place where I received the mask from her grandmother. Let's go to Kamakura. Came here to find out about the mask, but there's something I've got to do first. Six months ago, I sent one girl to the morgue and, we and very nearly killed another. Since then, I've thought of coming here to apologize to my Kawana countless times, but couldn't will myself to see her and be faced with my failure. I think of the fear and hurt in her eyes and I feel nothing but shame. For my own peace of mind, I need to tell her the truth about that day and about how I lost control. Hopefully, she can find it in herself to forgive me enough to help me with my investigation of the mask. Wait, it's fall. Why are they cherry blossoms blooming? It's like nothing's changed since that day. Oh, it's, uh, you. I was reading the paper and I, uh, saw your picture. And then I saw that picture on the TV news. And maybe the 7chan message boards after I looked you up. <coughs> I'm sorry, I was curious. I remember meeting you and I couldn't believe it. It's like I met a celebrity or something. Of course, it's not good or anything, but you know, you never know who you'll meet in the business. In this business, everyone always seems so unassuming. <coughs> I mean, that's not to say any of it was your fault or anything. Okay, so the message boards are pretty bad. There's a lot of bad stuff on there, like, wow. Pretty wild stuff. Are you done? Alright, oh, sorry, yes. Hello again. Cherry blossoms? What's going on with the weather here? It's fall, why are the cherry blossoms out? It's beautiful, isn't it? There's a species of cherry tree, the Prunus, Prunus subhertella autumnalis, that sometimes that sometimes blooms twice a year. I'm um, sorry guys, just give me a second. Just give me a second. Sorry about that. Ah, uh, if you heard some sounds in the background, it was just some people uh, talking in the background of my house that I need to quiet down. <laughs> at last, that's what it's at least that's what it says online. Who would have thought that we'd have them here in Kamakura? Well, I say Kamakura, but they only seem to be in this part of town. Lucky, huh? Tray blossom tree that blooms in fall. I've never seen it. Are you sure you've got your facts straight? It seems impossible. Possible. Do you doubt my botany expertise? I very much doubt your botany expertise. Impossible would be if the season started reversing themselves, don't you think? Ah, it certainly feels that way. Huh, you say something? Why the glum face? Anyway, I hope you take advantage of the weather and go for a picnic or something. Blossoms are so peaceful. Don't they put your mind at ease? Not really. Because I have other important things to deal with, such as some eldritch shit. I'm looking for my Kawana. Have you seen her? Oh, you're looking for Mai again, huh? Are you sure that's such a good idea? She was pretty upset about the, um, happenings last time you were here. I mean, I've barely seen her leave Kamakura since then. Maybe it's best you leave her alone. It's important I talk to her. <sighs> I suppose she'd be at the shrine that's down the street, like usual. Mai is very important to this town. Please don't upset her too much. We all want everything to go back to normal. Is Mai's grandmother still at the house near here? You want to see her? Well, she is still around, I suppose. I see the comings and goings of all the people around here. I don't see her getting out much, though. Oh, yes, that reminds me. When you were last here in April, did she, uh, I don't know, give you something? I'm not accusing you, of course. I just heard that there was an important artifact that went missing last spring. Kawana is old and losing her faculties a bit. Maybe she gave it to you by mistake. Can you remember anything like that? Oh, so you do know about it. That's, uh, that's a relief. Wouldn't want to think something so important was stolen by some riffraff, right? So, do you know when they'll return it? I'll have to ask HQ about that kind of thing, sorry. I did. I kind of tanked them several times. I don't trust this guy. I really don't trust this guy now. I think this guy's behind something. They said they didn't know anything about it. They said they didn't have it. You don't think they're lying to you, do you, detective? They wouldn't lie about something like that. Something so precious to this town, would they? I'm sure whoever you talked to was mistaken. Yes, that must be it. I'll keep trying. Enjoy your time in Kamakura. It's a little early to think about leaving. I need to speak with Mai first.
Okay, I am going to end it there. I'm sorry about that interruption a couple minutes ago. I was... I, the fear just hit me a lot, and I just really needed to calm down and take a quick, quick break from everything that was happening. I just needed to collect my thoughts and just scared, look away from the mask in the background. That mask scares me so fucking much. Oh, that mask. Like, the jump scares are fine. The imagery is fine. All the other stuff is fine. The mask, the, for some reason, that mask fucking puts fear in my heart. Ha oh, ha ha ha. Anyway, everybody, thanks for watching. I'll join you guys next time for another episode of Tokyo Dock. We will be exploring where it all happened so long ago. See you next time.